So here are 25 meals. I looked at the calendar to see how many dinners I needed. So these are dinners. Um, over here I wrote out uh, whether it's chicken, pork, beef, or fish. And then the first seven days is next week's dinner menu. And I kind of made um, a plan of what I'm putting in each uh, kind of different meals I would like to eat. The stars are the new recipes I'm trying. So, and then on this side, I have done um, four different soups I want to make. So, soup each week. Um, and two are new. I want to try. And then a breakfast rotation. I still need one breakfast to come up with. Which I'm going to ask the kids once they wake up what they like to eat. And then um, soup rotation. This is supposed to be lunch rotation, not soup rotation. So, um, every week. Smoothies twice for lunch. Soup twice for lunch. Salad twice for lunch. And then leftovers. And then when I meal plan, I just look at this and write it out accordingly for the days. So this just helps me to stay on track. Grocery shop and things like that. I can look at when um, certain things are on sale and stock up once I know um, how much I need. And um, now I'm going to just transfer it to my weekly menu plan, which I'll show you how I do that. So here is the menu. So we've got all of our breakfast, it's school lunch, daycare lunch, my lunch, and dinners. So I just wanted to show you I had written all out all the dinners into the calendar and I had marked off when I uh, am away and then I also write wrote dinner out because we have a party and I actually just remembered there's a party here, so um, Leave the door open. I'm probably gonna remove that from here as well, or leave it and have it for lunch, so that way we have it the next day. So yeah, so I like to keep it this way, and I wrote it all in pencil because if I want to switch stuff around, I can as the things come up during the week. Yeah, this helps me out. No tremendously to have this set up every month.